Oh, fuck yeah, we are so back, baby. I should probably first start off by saying that I am a huge sucker in Glazer when it comes to this franchise. I mean, the world, the atmosphere, the badass characters, to the androids, to the fodder characters. Obviously, not even to mention what I believe to be the most badass alien design the entertainment world has ever seen. An alien design that I genuinely think has to be nerfed in every iteration that it finds itself in in order to have an actually believable movie in regards to state's intention. A true grade A specimen that I'm sure Ridley Scott did not see the vision of in regards to the apex predator that he created almost a half decade ago. And while there have definitely been some contenders that have entered the arena like the Predator or even most recently with the Quiet Place franchise's aliens, the Xenomorph is simply just a different beast. And the fact that this movie was able to utilize all of what the alien has to offer when it comes to its abilities, build, and anatomy as a whole was absolutely stunning and mesmerizing to watch. The Xenomorph will always have my heart when it comes to what an alien design could be when it comes to the entertainment landscape. And one day we are going to get that movie from the Aliens POV, where we as an audience can just simply watch that motherfucker go to work. And with this iteration and its successfulness, that reality actually has some legs now. The movie was just absolutely stunning from the cinematography, probably one of, if not the best aspect of this movie overall, to the musical score, man, I just love that no audio pitch sound design. It really just builds the tension like nothing else. We are just so fucking back, baby. So with that being said, when it comes to spoilers, at this point in Alien Romulus' theatrical run, I mean, it hasn't even been a week yet, so I'm actually not quite sure how many people, one, were even interested in the Alien franchise after the controversial last two installments of Prometheus and Covenant, two movies that I personally enjoy, one more than the other, with Prometheus actually being one of my favorite movies just to relax and watch on a rainy day. But I also definitely recognize that I am in the minority of the audience when it came to the direction of this IP, seeing how, in hindsight, they were two movies that seemed to bite off a little bit more than they could chew when it came to knowing what the audience was interested in when it came to this franchise, this world, and this god-tier alien design. Which I can respect. And two, how many people of the casual audience now are interested in this franchise after hearing all of the praise and rave reviews. I've actually seen this problem come up with some of the other YouTubers reviewing this movie, either dropping a spoiler-free video now, and more than likely just forgetting that spoiler review. We're all still waiting on that Deadpool and Wolverine spoiler review, Jeremy! But in my opinion, the fact that people on social media are straying away from spoilers when it comes to the general audience is a great thing when it comes to whatever piece of media that is attached to. Not only does it show a great deal of respect in regards to everyone involved, rather it's the people who worked on the project or the casual audience that doesn't have the opportunity, funds, or interest to go watch movies in their opening weekend, but it shows that the audience that did go and watch the opening weekend were more than satisfied with their results. Therefore, reverting back to the first sentence of this video when I said, we are just so back, baby. So back, in fact, that we might actually have a future for this franchise. The world is healing. Nah, but in all seriousness, while the world of the Chronically Online will try to drum up controversy that this is not a good movie, like that is actually a narrative that I have been seeing, like what a bunch of blokes. For me, I couldn't disagree more. Alien Romulus, much like Hulu's Prey from the Predator franchise that dropped a couple years ago, is a fantastic, heart-racing, breath-slowing, and frankly intense return to form in all of the good ways when it comes to this franchise, this world, and the alien itself. I mean, boys, fodder characters are back on the menu. Not only did we get back to the roots of the horror genre, which makes sense seeing how this is coming from the vision of Vade Alvarez, one of the best horror minds in the game right now with his releases of Don't Breathe and the 2013 Evil Dead. So I'm sure as most of you could tell even from the trailer, it wasn't really about if this installment was going to be a horror movie. It was mostly about how far Fade as a director was willing to go. And for those who actually have seen the movie, it was much farther than I'm sure the majority of us expected. My jaw was pretty much on the ground in that last 20 minutes. And while for better or worse, my feeling when I left the theater was that this franchise is back because Alien Romulus delivered on what we the audience have been craving and looking for when it comes to this franchise, while at the same time, not being afraid to take risk as a creative, while also paying homage to what came before 
and what is to come. And while obviously I will just be continuing to glaze over this movie throughout the majority of this video, I should at least give a brief rundown of... Uh, so I just said spoiler free, but we'll find a way to balance the line. It will still more than likely be more on the spoiler free section though. I've seen some people of the Chronically Online pet name this as the CW alien movie, and while some people might see that as an insult, I see this as a blank tapestry of fodder characters. And fodder characters did we get. Alien Romulus follows Rain and her group of... Mm, let's call them the Below IQ crew, as they board an empty vessel caught in their atmosphere, as they see it as a means of escape from their mining planet they find themselves on. And while you as an audience member might think that the humans that have colonized the deepest parts of the universe would be a little bit more wary to the dangers of said universe, with the trip requiring cryo sleep in order to make the journey, and with the below IQ crew below the needed fuelage, the risk is worth the reward. Or so they think. And with the trailer pretty much revealing to the audience the first character death in the trailer of their own movie, which again, I can respect seeing how there was much more that this movie was going for that met the eyes, the low IQ crew find themselves as caged rats and in a race against time with the vessel on a collision course as it continues to head towards their atmosphere. A race against prey and apex predator that they have no knowledge of, and a fight against their own brain cells, and a fight to see who could be the biggest bloke of them all in order to induce the biggest audience gasp and be rewarded as the best on-screen kill. It's a thrilling viewing experience of suspenseful sequences, a claustrophobic atmosphere, and honestly the type of film that I think A Quiet Place Day 1 was going for earlier this year, but in that case, or in this movie, I'm not quite sure if it's because the pre-established fanbase when it comes to this alien and this nostalgia, but nevertheless in this case, a movie that actually stuck the landing in regards to the horror aspects and vision that was trying to be conveyed. In regards to some of the negatives that I have been seeing, and I guess even in that same breath when I was recommending this movie to one of my mates, sure, are some of the characters blokes, and do some of the characters make bloke decisions? 100%. But that is the horror genre, and while that doesn't mean that everyone or every character has to be an absolute idiot in order for the movie to happen, generalized misunderstandings between characters in a high-intensity situation is more than normal to me than I guess the majority audience. And while the last 20 minutes is definitely going to be a major talking point in the next couple weeks as more and more people have the opportunity, spare time, and interest to go watch this movie, I for one love the risk, creativity, and different elements of horror that have come to this franchise. Again, as someone who loves Prometheus, I will always appreciate the different visions of people that have for this universe if I feel as if it is executed in the right way and with the right mindset in mind when it comes to this IP. And while I can definitely see how and why that aspect of the movie will be a major talking point, for me, it doesn't take away, and honestly, it only adds to the movie's entertainment factor and enjoyment I had when I was leaving the theater. To be honest, and you guys have been hearing it throughout the whole video, I quite frankly couldn't have been more impressed with Alien Romulus, a movie that for the first time in a long time, probably since Dune Part 2, where I personally had this high of expectations going into a film, that actually delivers on the audience's demand. My personal investment. And while I feel like it's been an actual long time since our franchise and king of the alien design was on top, man does it just feel so damn good to be a fan of this franchise right now. And honestly, I can only hope and pray that they can build on this momentum. You see what I did there? So in a ranking tier list that is still a name in progress, if my constant glazing and half ass excuse at revealing the quote unquote negative aspects that this movie had didn't give it away, Alien Romulus is fucking cinema. And while there will always be the chronically online people that find a way to nitpick every piece of entertainment because, well, that's just their brand at this point, or even the casual audience that just didn't see eye to eye with me on this one, which I can respect. For me, Alien Romulus is a movie that I think will only grow with admiration with time, and a movie that I think will be respected for the new life that it, hopefully, has breathed back into the franchise. And at the end of the day, this is my list. Cinema it is, baby. Anyway, of course as always, I want to thank you guys for watching the video, and if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I'll leave a link to my Twitter and letterbox in the description just in case you guys want to go check that out. 
Again, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you did enjoy, why not click on more while you're at it? Otherwise, that is all the words I got for you today. Bye.